Do you want to be able to create Fortnite montages that look something like this? Lost my girl with my oppression, lost control of my aggression Shut the fuck up asking questions, you would never get the message Living life just tell me guessing, my depressions and my presence In that time for adolescence Oh Lost my girl with my oppression, lost control of my aggression Shut the fuck up asking questions, you would never get the message Living life just tell me guessing, my depressions and my presence In that time for adolescence Lucky for you, I'm about to show you how After opening Premiere Pro, what you want to do is go to File, click New, go over to Project, and then here you're going to be able to uh, create your project name and all that stuff. So I'm going to just put uh, Video Example. So you can have this as anything you want. Um, since my laptop's not the best, it this is pretty much the best settings you can have if you don't want it to like, blow up your computer. But if you have a good I think it's either like process or graphics card or something like that. You'll be able to change this to Mercury something something something. Going. But uh, apart from that, you're just going to click OK, and this will start to load. Just going to make it okay. Now it's loaded. This is the basic layout you'll get. So you have your first box here, your program. This is what the video will look like. This is the original source, your timeline, and your media box. And then this is where you add the effects. So what you're going to do first is go to the music that you're, you're going to be using. So if I just bring over what I'm going to be using, right, I've got my music thing here. What you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop the file you're going to be using and drop it where it says import media to start here. Now you have your song that you're going to be using. I'm going to be using messages. Um, so you should be able to have it there and what you're going to do next is you're going to double tap it double click where it's this little sound wave thing and so I've obviously already used this before but um, what you're going to do is play through the song and every time so this is to start about syncing we're going to press M on your keyboard every time there's a good beat every time you want to for a shot to hit or something, so I'm gonna just play what I've got, and then you can see that the markers line up with where it is. Tell me how you're feeling inside, baby. Are you gonna be alright? Remember what you told me last night. So, as you can hear there, and you'll be able to see the markers here line up with the beats of the song. Which is going to be helpful in the long run, as um, you'll be able to line up your shots with the song. So what you're going to do after that is drag and drop it into the thing where it says drop media here to create sequence. This is your timeline. And drop it in there. You should create something like this. And I'm just going to put it in audio track 2 as it just makes it a lot easier for me. And then what you're going to do is grab all your clips, just like I did again. I've got my clips here in a folder. You're going to select them all and then drag and drop them into where you dropped your song. Just in this box here. So now you've got all your clips here. You're going to say on your first clip, double click it. It should come up with your clip. So you can see I've got a nice snipe. Basically, what you're going to do is find, you're going to move this. And find the start of your clip that you're going to use. I don't want to so I'm, I want my clip to start here, so I'm going to press I on my keyboard and it should create this thing here. Then next, as you scroll along, you're going to want to find the exact keyframe where you take the shot. So here I can just listen for either the snipe, so it's a very loud bang kind of sound, or for the scope to move up. So here you can see the scope goes up in that keyframe there. So I'm gonna press M on my keyboard to make a marker there. So you can see the green light the green marker there. And I'm just gonna scroll along right. to where I want the end of the clip and then you're gonna press O on your keyboard. After you've done that, you're gonna wanna drag that down into where it where it says V one 
and it should drag along to there, right? And you can, this little line at the bottom here, you can use to zoom in the whole timeline there, which you can zoom in so you can see the clip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this along, this clip here, until you can see there. This snipe lines up with that. If you double tap here, you can bring the playhead. This snipe lines up with that marker there. Lines up with the snipe song, which is exactly what we wanted. Also, you can see here that my clips aren't the best because they probably record differently on a PS4. So what you can do here, if they're not full scale, if you want to go up here, effect controls, scale here. What I usually do if it's like that, you can do to 165, that's what I usually do. But if your clips are different, you can just type in a number until you find what fits right for you. So you can see here, it lines up with the song perfectly. So what you're going to do is then go to your next clip. So you're just going to repeat that step. You know, find the start of the clip. The start of my clip can be there. Where you fire the shot, press M. And then the end of the clip, O. What you're going to do now is if the if this black if a black line doesn't appear over here, see my marker is there. What you can do is go to the edge of a clip. This little red thing will appear here. Drag the clip shorter. Keep pulling it forwards until it lines up there with that. And then you'll be able to sync it here. See, it still lines up with the beat. So it's all about sync uh, making these markers meet up with each other. So you know, that's what got so far. Tell me how you're feeling inside. See, it all lines up with each other. Here, I'm just gonna make this to 165 again, just to make it full size. So, what you're gonna do is you're going to do that process, but for all of your clips that you've got. So, I'm just gonna uh, skip to when I've finished all of that. So, I'll be back in a, back in a bit. So, I actually shortened the song a bit, but extended this clip out just so you can hear the introduction of the song. But I'll play you what I've synced so far. Not worth it. I could literally just snipe him right here right now. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh wait, oh wait. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to. Right. Tell me how you're feeling inside, baby. So obviously that it wasn't the best because I'm trying to rush this for a YouTube video but um, it's really important to get them properly on the beat otherwise it does sound a bit strange. The next thing I'm going to add now is the effects that give the little light and the screen pump when I hit the shot. So what you want to do is, so usually when you get Premiere it will your media box will look something like that. What you're going to do is go across until it gives you this option, you're just going to drag it out. What we want is this thing here, this little sticky note looking thing. You want to click adjustment layer and just click OK there. And then once it's here, you're going to drag and drop that onto your timeline here. And then you can just make that shorter just so it's over this marker here. So this looks like this. It's just a little thing and what you're going to do now is you're going to go to effects and in this little search bar here you want to search for lumetri color you should come up with this thing it kind of looks like a microwave i don't know what it is what it is but basically just drag and drop it onto your adjustment layer and what you want to do is go it should automatically come up with effect controls but you want to go to effect controls and uh, what you're going to do is line up, so put your playhead on where the where the shot's taken, so there, and, well, I think that's just, oh there we go, what you're going to do is you're going to find, you're going to drop down this menu, this is basic correction, you're going to click this little timer thing here, and make a keyframe here, 
it'll automatically make a keyframe. You're going to press your left arrow twice to go back two keyframes. Or to go back two frames. Make another keyframe by clicking that little icon. And then you're going to go ten to the right. And then make another keyframe. What you're going to do is then press this arrow to go back to the middle keyframe. And you're going to click and press that to four. So now you can see there's a little light burst there as it goes from the first keyframe to the second keyframe. Now we're going to add the second the little screen pump. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another adjustment layer on top of that. Just make it the same same length as the other one. But this time we're going to search for transform. So you're going to find this one is under distort and you're going to drag and drop that onto the second adjustment layer. What you're going to do now, I don't know where the exposure is, you're going to find where it says scale here. Click the little timer stopwatch and do the same thing we did before. So two back, keyframe, ten forward. Keyframe. And then you're going to go back to the middle keyframe, but instead you're going to change this to 110. So now we've got a nice screen pump and exposure when we take the shot. So what you're going to do is you're just going to do the same thing for all of your where it hits, or you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, and then I'll just do that now and then come back to you when that's done. So after you've finished all that, and what you're going to do is you're going to, you see these things here, you're going to click this one, it's the razor tool, and line up your playhead with the end of your video, and you're just going to line up this dotted line on the razor, you're just going to click, go back to the normal cursor, click the other end of your song, and press delete. So now you've got your fully edited video, if I just zoom that out, you should look something like that. Um, but make sure you move, if you just highlight all of it, you can just move it to the start, just so there's no like black video at the start of it. So, and then once you've, you're fully done with your video, go to File, you want to go to Export, Media, it's going to open this little window here. And this is where you'll be able to save your video. Uh, I highly recommend H.264. And then you can just preset it to... So if you're going to upload it to YouTube, you can either uh, 1080p, 2160p, 4K Ultra HD. Um, but just export it to whatever setting you want. And um, it will... It might take a while, depending on how many clips and effects you used. But... Um, that should be the end of the video. If you want me to make a second part doing transitions and motion blur, just leave a like and comment down below. Um, I'll leave Yorion's link, the guy who helped me start Premiere. Um, I'll leave his link in the description below. Um, other than that, make sure to like, subscribe, and yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.